one of the most popular actresses on daytime TV. She's been buried alive, run away from home, gotten kidnapped by a madman, and if that's not enough, she just got left at the altar. Take a look. What's not right? What are you talking about? Renewing your wedding vows. You can't do that. Why not? What does it matter to you? Mateo knows. Tell her. Tell her! Tell me what? It's nothing that affects us now. It happened a long time ago. What did? Raquel and I were married. What? Left by her real-life husband. That's got to even be worse. <laughs> Please welcome back to the show, Kelly Ripa. <laughs> yourself up there. Up. You're returning the walker that I lent you for your baby. 17 years ago, yes. And no. you said you'd need it back for well, Chelsea. And she's just starting to walk. She so it's, is. It's so perfect. it's too late now. No, no, it's perfect. My, we had to fight Michael for it. He was like, no, and he was backstage going, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mommy! Oh. We'll yeah. give him some other toys on the way Yeah, out. that would be a good thing. How's it going? How's motherhood? It's great. Oh, God. Good? I love it so much. Yeah. We keep talking about having another one. We're going to have another one. But, you know, with one, you're so busy, you really don't have time to do anything more than talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, yeah. It's like craziness. Right. It's Everything is crazy. We just, we just moved to the country. So we have, like, this big house, and now I'm commuting. And I'm commuting to work with the baby in the back of the car. And, like, everything I listen to is, like, Barney's greatest hits and Elmo's greatest hits and Pooh's greatest hits. And I'm sitting there and I'm like trying to hear a traffic report. We're stuck in traffic and the baby, like, he can reach forward and he grabs my hair and I'm driving and I'm like, get away from me, mommy said, please. <laughs> You'll yeah. learn this. Move his seat to the other side. I, I'm, I'm got to do that because then I you know. can see him better. Yeah, you're and right. And you can also reach back and hand juice better with the diagonal. You know what I do now? I pitch fish. You I do. Pitch goldfish. Goldfish. Pitch right him over. back. Pitch him back. French fries and goldfish. You got like a little seal baby. He's That's, in the back. Yeah, it's, it's true. That's him. You know him so well. <laughs> He's beautiful, boy. Thank he you. really is beautiful. He's, we like him. We're going to keep him. Yeah, you should. <laughs> How do you like living in the country? Is it hard to adjust? You're a city girl yeah, originally, I'm right? A, yeah, well, I'm, I'm originally from southern New Jersey, so but I've been in this city for so long that I had forgotten about right. things like worms on the grass and my son is like a city kid that's all he knows and so when we moved out there you know my husband was like big backyard it's we need a big backyard big backyard big backyard right and so we immediately put the baby down in the big backyard he screams and cries and runs onto the pavement he runs <laughs> onto the, and so now he won't play on in the, the grass. grass he only plays in the driveway because he thinks he's he thinks he's in new york city and like you know and and so we may, he rings the doorbell so we can hear sounds because we're in deep in the country and there's like things out there. Like there were things yesterday. I was talking on the phone to your producer. And I said, oh my goodness. She said, what's the matter? I said, there is. I said, I said to her like an idiot, there's a stole running across that. Well, a stole isn't an animal. I mean, a stole is something you wear that animals frequently are a part of. Uh, but I thought a stole you was thought, like... You thought you stole like a mink? Like a mink. I looked like, it looked like Phoebe Wallingford. It looked like Ruth Warwick was crawling through the back. I mean, it was like this big furry thing crawling. And what was it? I thought it was like a beaver... Beaver, um, possum, possum hybrid, sort of like raccoonish, sloth, sloth. Something. It could have been a sloth, but yeah. it was a little fast for a sloth. And then my girlfriend Ala Karat, who plays Ali, was over yeah. for the weekend. Right. I'm changing the baby's diaper. I hear Kelly. There's a wolf in the backyard, and I'm thinking, no, she's mistaken. It's not a wolf. It I mean, it's New wolf. Jersey. Sure. What wolves? Right. Sure enough, there's a wolf in the backyard. I've got my baby who is butt naked. He's sitting there. He's pee peeing everywhere. And there's a wolf in the backyard. A real wolf? Yeah. So who do you call? Who do you call? Like what? Like wolf busters. Uh, I don't know. Who do you call? I, I don't know. I didn't. You know, I'm, I'm on the phone. So I call my mother. I'm like, Mom. You know, and my dad just had his gallbladder out. And she's like, Let me call your aunt Marie, your uncle Dino. Well, they'll know. So she's like calling aunt Marie and uncle Dino to see if they know. In the Bronx? No, no, in, in New Jersey, oh, South Jersey. Oh, all right, South Jersey. Yeah, same difference. And so, did so, you have to get like animal control to trap it? 
No, no, it just, it took off. And so I sort of, you know, I was like, I'm going to call the police, but then the police are already fed up with me because the second day we moved in there, I set the alarm off and, and they didn't know that people moved into the house. And so when I answered the door, I was in a towel with the baby. Yeah. And I don't say anything like, you know, something intelligent, like I live here. I answered the door and I said, I did it. It was my fault. It was me. So like I'm confessing and the cop is like writing right. down like crazy woman in towel with child confess. And so my husband runs down the stairs and he's like, we live here. And I'm like, no, it wasn't his fault. It was all me. I did it. It was my fault. And the guy's like, you know, I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna have to verify this. You know, there's like, they're so bored out there because nobody commits any crimes. Out. There's like three houses. So like, the whole police force was, hi Rose. The whole police force was sitting in my front lawn looking at the crazy lady with the towel because in the morning I mean I'm not glamorous you know in the morning I'm like you know like this and I have a spatula and the baby and you know the baby's like naked and we really look like you know I have to come over that sounds like a lot of fun on the weekend that's our house it's 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 madness do you have it's, any bird feeders n no but I heard about your squirrel problem oh the joy I'll tell you with the commercial more with Kelly Ripper right after this don't go away <laughs> This is the PMS nail polish. It's so cool. Do you know that it changes color? No. Okay, it's see, not. it's yellow? Yeah. Can I use your water? Go ahead. Okay. Now, just wait a second. Just everybody wait one second. Here it comes. Orange. Whoa! Look, orange. That's see? so cool. See? Yellow, not in the water, and orange. I'll That's give you some. Real. I, I love you that. You get it at Spencer Gifts. You ever go That's, there? I do. I love it there. You they have the, you know, the fart thing. Can Ooh, I say that? You on? did. It's all right. It's okay. We had an elephant fart story before. This will be the fart show. <laughs> It's all right. I'm sorry. It's okay. Break wind. Yeah. For those of you who are PC, break wind. Yeah, the break wind machine. Part. Now, um, Kelly, as you all know, is on All My Children. Haley, watch it. Everyone does every day. Um, this is, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You are a very young woman. You're yes. in your 20s. Yes. So you do not have to really worry with no history in your family of breast cancer until you're 40 to get a baseline manager. And, and no breasts to speak of. So. <laughs> Even well, if you I have small have... breasts, you got to get them checked. I don't know how they could fit mine into a vice. I don't think. Trust me, the women who do that are very good at it. They pull, it's silly they, putty, they it's all smushed. It's nice. We wrote a little song, uh, Kelly and okay. I, <clears throat> in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We'd like to do it for you now. Ready? Ready. Test, Test your... your... Breast. Test your, Test your breast. breast. Check your boobies, we suggest. Grab the phone, make an appointment. Let your doctor do the rest. Feel the squish, feel the squash. Then you'll go out for a nosh. It won't take long to get checked out. Hey, you sisters, throw your pecs out. Keep your chest at its best. All your friends will be impressed. When you tell them that you got your mammogram. Hey, bring your aunt and mom. Then just whip off your bra. I'm a pest. One, re one request. Test your breath. Great job. Tell them we go on tomorrow. Oh, oh David Spade. David and Spade. Mom, yeah. Alice Walker. Yeah. And jo oh my God, Judge Judy. Judge Judy. I'm coming. Hey, oh, you whip the snap it. Slip a lock. I'm hey, talking zip here. It. Hey, zip You're it. You're a liar. What is that gobbling book? Well, you. What, are I born yesterday? We'll be right back. Her. Oh, we won't. We'll be we'll back tomorrow. Her. Goodbye. <laughs>